So this is how you can send some data for a custom module. And of course, you can add multiple ones like so. And for instance, send your pi char to module config. And in this side, we can duplicate that in send pi chart. module config we are sending the same data so it will be two copies of the same chart of course if you change the user's country to be an array it will be an, an empty array sorry it will be always the empty array and we will see no data to display so this is how you can reuse some of your codes and you can also have another level of abstraction that we will see in another lesson that is by creating an object composite where you can group together more than one component and then reuse them like in for loops and so on to be more consistent and avoid thousands and thousands of lines of code especially on the html side what we can do right now. We can also learn about the OJ bind for each function. So let me try to look for binding control and flow for each. Okay, so you can use this tag OJ bind for each and give it an, a data provider or an array. Typically, let's use a data provider and let me, okay, let's put, let's keep that here and inside this div, a bind for each. Inside the for each, we will have again a template. When you don't have data, no users data to display. It can be there or later we can change it to use a bind text and load a, a, a translation, of course. And right now, oh, let me format that. So we are getting a list. We don't want that. What we want, we want to use the template. And if you recall inside the template, you can use this attribute data OJ has and then use item. So we are holding the, the current object as the item variable. Let's call it variable. And then let's delete all of that. That is from the, the cookbook example. And inside of it, we want an OJ module and we want the configuration there is from the item dot data dot module. Okay, we are good to go. In this side, we want again to have that little one. There is the red other provider here and the red other provider. Now what we are going to do is creating an array data provider with all these configurations. So you can look for with this for each and the name is this dot data provider. Now let's call it module data provide modules. Modules data provider equals to and let me copy from here we don't need to have these key attributes for now just giving it the array of data and const modules confi equals to an array and inside the array if you remember from the dashboard we want the module property so module and here we will have this here is not an object but the um, the configuration itself like so i 
need to close that. So we have an object here, configure a, and we are going to give it to the data provider. We have module, so we are getting the pi and giving it all that configuration. And of course, if you have a second one or more than one, let's use this configuration and remove that align the code ah, something went wrong we have an object configuration i missed that here okay so we have an array of objects the first object has this module property so we are defining that here data dot module and then we get the uh, configuration and we are loading that to the OJ model. As it is an array and we are using the bind for each, we are going to look for the module data provider here and we are going to load the first one as item. The first one is an object and we need always to get this dot data because inside array data provider and in a bind for each we need to use the dot data so item dot data and inside we want the module property and we are loading this configuration and let's try it so let's go to there and we have some errors here pie chart module config is not defined why ah okay so we need to delete this old way of doing that and let me reload and we are still getting the two pie charts and now using a for each and if i keep duplicating that and let me change the order so we have two two pie charts without data and one with data again so one no data no data no data and data again of course then we need to have some alignments there you can go to the cookbook look for the layout and nav let's use the flex layout and justify okay and now for each we want a div here that will wrap our module and it will have this class here mm -hmm. copy and paste align that and let's see oh my god it's so so bad let's try another thing that is the conveyor belt uh, maybe it's better to use so you can have this kind of a thing instead of that we have that and okay it can be uh, like so and after that we want to load the module of course as we always do inside the dashboard let's save that and see okay we have one and the others are not rendering well oh now it's in better still not good enough okay let's just put ones with data in let's put a div put it with a custom style with width of 100 pixels uh, that's for GS okay 500 pixels and now it's getting better so 
LG12, we have all the page 12. We want Excel 6 and remove that. Let me just try this div. Okay, now it's centering, but I'm not seeing the conveyor belt until the end. Uh, maybe that. And if I put the two ones back there. Okay, no data, no data. And okay, now we can see something. <laughs> It's better. So you can use this OJ conveyor belt to have this slide look. You can press and see the data that is hidden. And if you get to the mobile, you need to press that and see the data. Okay, okay, no data, no data. When we press that, it will open the about page. That's amazing. And okay, so we, we are getting something there. Let me also add the OJ panel here just to see if it is better okay you can see something different uh, I guess it is too big in height so height will be let's put it square it is way bigger yeah so let's put half of it and let's put here a style as well with and eight so it can adjust yep and of course we can now have some other types of data here to display Let's duplicate that just to and a J panel in here and H3. Well, let's put it already as it should. So OJ bind text value equals to users demo data label in here. We want to uncomment that will be headers user demo data. Let me get the translations. Let's put users only. Are we loading the no we need to go to customers, grab this J translation of course and translations okay let's look into that and something is wrong user them that the label is not defined because i forgot to init all the labels here okay we have users it's too big h5 okay we have some data we can delete all the other ones for now and we have only one pie chart there and now we can start thinking about the next one we want to display that can be the um, segmentation of the users related to the age of them from 18 to 30 31 to 40 something like that we can build a service and return the data for it